I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. Little bit more, ko. Kung didikit pa, kung didikit sa, kung didikit sa, if it's sticking to your finger, you can add more. Definitely, you can add more flour. Hi guys, magluto tayo ng dumplings. If you have leftover mashed potato, like I have here, one cup of leftover mashed potato. This is a mixture of potato and carrots. See? And one cup of mashed potato and a cup of all-purpose flour. And then, you can add whatever herbs. If you got parsley or whatever, cilantro. I have green onions, so I'm using green onions. And... A little bit of baking powder, one fourth teaspoon. A little bit of ground black pepper. A little bit of salt. An egg for the binder. As the binder. And mix, mix, mix. And if the mixture is kind of runny or too soft you can add flour Forming the balls, see you can see they're not uniform. <laughs> Very rustic. I'm just waiting for my water to boil and then we can put it in and then once they float, they're done. What are you doing? They're all different size. My dumplings? They're all different size. So how you fix it? Fix look, it. Look at this little one here. Look. Okay, fix it. Look at the size of him, look at the size of that. So when you got this problem, then you say, which one's bigger? This is oh, bigger. Okay. This is the biggest. Well, Take a little bit of him oh, okay. and put him here. And then... Guys, Glenn didn't like my, this one's a little my bit dumpling, too. the shape, so put him there he's too. fixing it. <laughs> now we're going to make, we're trying to make them all the same size. Mine was <laughs> rustic, but he wants it the yeah. same size. He... <laughs> oh, it's not, but... I like them be they, you, when you're cooking them. They all got to be kind of the same size, otherwise they're gonna cook at no, the same time. So they'll float if so they're, now the, they'll float anyway. The little one. Now it looks better. The water is boiling. Now we can drop the dumplings. Then bring it to a boil again, and once they float to the top, that means it's already done. Ready to eat. Kung didikit pa, kung didikit sa, 
and the bit it's sticking to your finger you can add more definitely you can add more flour Don't have my balls, you don't like my balls. They're all different sizes. My dumpling. Late lunch time. Oh, it's getting humid off. Saw that storm was last night. I thought it was going to start today. Maybe tonight. I don't know. Hi guys. Hi guys, welcome to our channel. Food idea of life. We're eating dumplings. Homemade dumplings. Homemade dumplings. And pork. Uh, what do we got? Um, pork loin. Pork chop. Pork chop. And gravy. And some corn, corn and peas. Remember girls, leftover mashed potato, make dumplings out from it. I don't know if we're going to turn up pretty in here. There's some leftover mashed potatoes. Mm. Look at that. Look at that. Not too bad for lunch. Thanks for watching guys for our short cooking vlog. Homemade dumpling out from a leftover mashed potato. Hmm. Hope you guys would like. Try the recipe. Thanks for watching. Food in your life. Bye. Bye. Take care. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all be okay. Move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago I've changed for the better this time